Hey guys, what's up? We're back for part uh, nine, I believe, and uh, we're really starting to make some progress here. Uh, the weather just keeps getting better and better, and obviously you can see how green it's getting here now. Um, so we've had more time to work on it. We're getting more done on the blazer. Um, we're moving on to uh, working on the inside of the enclosure now since we got the uh, design back from Jew Jones at Baseaholic Productions. Um, so I believe today we're going to be starting on baffles and um, we're going to see if we can get those knocked out and uh, see how much more we can get done on this. So if you guys want to see how I'm doing it and you guys want to see the uh, design that the uh, Jews came up with, stick around. We're working on baffles now, and with this fourth order enclosure that Jude designed at Bakesaholic Productions, um, this is gonna be a triple baffle. Um, all the subs are gonna be on the same baffle. So we're making a triple baffle. Now I know my, my measurements inside um, were just a hair off, um, and it happens. Um, so I've measured and measured and um, depth wise from the front of the box to the rear of the box I'm an eighth of an inch off now width wise everything seems to be right on the money um, but depth wise from front to rear I'm an eighth of an inch off so what I'm doing is cutting my baffles now and what I want to do is I want to be sure that all these are exactly the same size um, so what I'm going to do is as I've cut one and I'm gonna test fit it in there just to be sure that it fits like it should um, and make sure that nothing is catching or you know it needs trimmed uh, just a little bit but I'm hoping and it should just set right in there just like it needs to be now what I've done here is I've marked uh, before I started cutting this after I got my I marked all my factory edges okay so I got a factory edge here a factory edge here and a factory edge here and then I got a cut edge all right so, so since I'm going to be an eighth of an inch off what I've done here is after I cut it I spun it around so I put the factory edge which this end here used to be on that end so I spun it around so I get my factory edge on factory edge that way I know they're lined up perfectly okay and now what I'll do is is I'll snap my line or draw my line right here on my previous cut edge. That way, if this one fits, which I'm gonna test fit here in a minute, then I know it's gonna be exactly the same on this cut. So what I will do is, instead of having two cuts on two ends, I will have three factory edges. That way I know they're perfectly straight and they are perfectly 90 degrees on the corners. I'll have three factory edges on each one of those. So like I said, if when I test fit this, and if everything works out all right, I'll bring it back out here and I'll line it up perfectly again on all the factory edges. And then I'll make my line and I'll make my other cut from this edge to this edge. And no, I ain't gonna be able to test fit it yet because this is wider than the enclosure. So I'm gonna have to trim this. So scratch some of that factory edge stuff. Shit. All right, but that's what I'm doing anyways. You guys get the idea. Uh, that way I know I'm getting factory edges on at least three sides right now anyway. I'm still going to have to cut about four inches off the width of this. So we know that's not going to fit right now. But that's okay. I still wanted to get that. That way I got at least two cuts still have two factory edges all right and it, it, that way like I said when I flip it over and I bring this edge up to here I know it's going to be identical that way I don't have three different baffles two of them an inch or an eighth of an inch big and one an eighth of an inch small which can pose some problems and there's the stupid dogs so like I said you guys kind of get to drift I caught myself I still need to do a trim so what I'll do is, is I'll go ahead and make my line from here to here. I'll go ahead and cut this one down. 
and we'll go from there. All right, this ain't worked out as I planned. Um, I'm uh, I'm not square as much as I thought I was, so I had to do lots of test fits, test fits, and uh, trim a little bit at a time till I finally got this to where it fits uh, as well as I could get it to fit, um, which is fine. Um, so I got it laid out on here. I'll just trace it out and cut my next one out, but I don't know how much more work I'm going to be able to get done out here now outside anyway because uh we're about to get hit with a storm so i got this traced out i think i might pick this stuff up and um get it inside the uh my little humble garage here um and if it hits i guess i'll uh work on the door panels inside been a couple of days since I worked on baffles it rained yesterday so I spent all my time inside working on door panels which was much needed as much as I wanted to work on this because this is the fun part but anyways I'm working on this for about a half hour now today and uh, baffle number two is now cut to fit um, that's not glued or screwed or nothing like that I just got it sitting in there just to make sure it fits so we'll jerk this out and We'll cut one more and then it'll be on to the fun part of cutting all these holes yeah i'm not looking forward to that part but uh yeah we might be able to play this thing in next couple weeks guys I'm, I'm i'm getting pumped up now it's starting to really come together thank god Almost got this one in the first cut. So, uh, do a little trimming here and see if that third one drops. Just a wee bit more trimming. I think it'll drop right in there. Everyone's going to be just a little bit different because, like I've said before, I tried my best, but the box is still out of it's still out of square, about an eighth of an inch, give or take. I mean, and that's going to happen when you. I guess. I mean, I'm not perfect, so I'll have to deal with it. But uh, I screwed my. Um, resin all up by put, taking these in and out test fitting them but that's alright because um, I never planned on having a, a glass smooth finish in here anyways um, I kind of like the texture look on things on some things and that's what I had it in my old build uh, was the textured look on the inside and that's what I'm going to do with this one again so I'll jerk this one out do a little more trimming we'll see if it drops in and then if it does we can start cutting our holes and i may just have this enclosure you know technically complete today Still a little more to get. Oh, just don't turn into like uh, the Willwells from hell. Ah, hopefully this is it and I don't have to trim no more. And I can start cutting these baffle holes. 
Son of a bitch. God damn. Try it one more time, guys. Hopefully this is the uh, last time I have to trim this to get this to fit. Ha ha! Maybe not. Fuck. One little bit back here. So I ain't going to subject you guys to watching that again. So I'll get that trimmed down and then uh, we're going to move on to cutting some holes here. Be nice having a triple baffle. Looks pretty strong. Not even glued, glued together yet. All right, everything's uh fitting nice and tight uh, a little off right here but that's not that big a deal since that's going to be the bottom of the baffle um, but other than that it's looking pretty good pretty good and uh, everything seems to be square on the front now so I'll take these all out I'm going to get started with the cuts on this one first because this is going to be the top layer. So this is my what I want to be my guy. Yeah, obviously, that's where the wolfers are going to sit. So I'll cut this one out, then the second one, and then the third one. Um, those, you know, if they're just a hair off, that ain't going to matter. I can sand that down a little bit. Um, but my, my first cut's got to be right on. So we're going to get started on those. The third one fits and I've got the uh, got it laid out here. Got my holes uh, drawn up and we're getting ready to start cutting. Don't look at a couple of those other lines guys. I was I was made some marks figuring something else here. So as you can see, if you haven't already started to figure out what type of fourth this is gonna be now that uh, Drew Jones designed, you're getting more of a picture here. So we're going to start this long and daunting process of cutting lots and lots of holes. There's one. There's five. I'm sure that uh, all my holes are in the exact spot on each baffle. Because like I said, I had to do a little bit of trimming to each baffle to get it fit because I wasn't just quite square but I want to make sure that all my baffle holes are in the same place so we're going to take the one that I just cut and we're going to put it in get, get everything lined up and we're just going to trace holes to the next baffle now what I will do is is once I get that baffle cut I will take this top one out obviously I have to take it out all right, so I'll just take the very next baffle that I'm getting ready to cut. Once it's cut, I'll lay it, trace it, and then drop it right back in here. That way everything lines up right where it needs to be. And I can glue and screw these things together. And I can put the front of the sealed side on, and I can put this loading wall on, and then basically the enclosure's done, other than making it look pretty. Ten. Twelve. Halfway. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Count them. Twenty-four. I've now got uh, two of the baffles glued, screwed, and PL'd in, and, uh, you know, honestly, I probably, I don't know if I have to put a brace in this or not, I probably could have got away with using two, because this thing is, ah, damn, solid, yeah, I can see it jumping a little bit there, but, uh, man, that thing's solid already, 
a lot more solid than I thought it would be. So two baffles down, one to go. I'm liking it guys, I'm liking it. Well, all right, all right, all right. These are, uh, these are in, they're glued, they're screwed, and they're PO'd. And I'm happy because it seems like it's taken forever to get to this point. So, guys, realistically, I'm going to put a, a front on it right here. We're going to do a, my loading wall um, and the port, and it's done. Besides making it look pretty, a little bit of sanding and, you know, whatnot, vinyl work or whatever. But uh, we'll make it look pretty and it's done. I'm happy. I'm happy, happy. Like I said, God damn, it seems like it's taken forever to get to this point. And uh, to me, it feels like once you cut the holes for your baffles, um, everything's downhill from there. And I believe that's what it is from this point. It's all downhill. Um, I still got to check it to see if I still need to put a brace in there, which I, I probably do, honestly. We'll put a brace in that and uh, we'll put this front on. I mean, that's, that's going to be easy to cut out. Real easy. Oh, all right, guys. Check back in. All right, started putting more of the front on here. <clears throat> Added a brace in the middle there, and it is pretty, pretty solid now. So I'm pleased with it. Um, the only way we're going to really know any further as far as bracing goes is... Uh, once, once I get this thing playing, I mean, if I have to add any more uh, bracing, whether it be top to bottom or side to side or, or what it be, I don't know just yet. But uh, pleased with it. We're going to work on the front some more and the loading wall and port. And the front of it's done besides uh, making it look pretty and, and finishing these doors up, which I don't think is going to take a whole lot longer. So on that note, we're going to call it uh an end of this part and uh you just have to keep watching to see the rest of the continuation of this so i appreciate you guys watching as always and remember to make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh make sure to follow the links in uh my description there to my other social media sites uh the, the blazer facebook page it's got its own page and all that stuff so um, appreciate all the support and followers I can get on there as well. So until next time guys, base on.